Okay, so, um, I'm gonna keep this one short as well. So obviously we survived last night, no tornadoes, although I was up till 2.45, um, worried about tornadoes, and um, then got to get up this morning with my obviously dirty hair and go to three basketball games, two guitar practices, and then came home exhausted and found myself standing in the kitchen. You know how you, we were leftovers, we were just picking it leftovers, and we were flipping around the channels and Ava found a movie that that she hadn't seen and with one of my all-time favorite actors and you're not going to guess him. And we started watching it and I found myself, y'all, my feet hurt, I still got a broken toe, standing in the kitchen for almost, for, from the south, for almost, um, almost two hours finishing this movie. I never sat down, just stood in the kitchen, grazing on food and watching this movie, which made us both just cry. Um, and it made me think about it because I had to tell Ava there's a story there. Uh, so anyway, we, I know you guys know I lived in LA for a while, in New York City for a while, for a few years. And um, I got to, I did, I mean, I can't obviously, but tell you everyone I met, but I met a lot of famous people. And not bragging, I don't. I mean, I didn't ask for their autograph. I've never asked for an autograph in my life. Um, and when I worked at different hospitals, you know, especially like UCLA and places like that, they tell you right up front, you are going to see a ton of people that you're going to recognize is against our policy to treat them any differently than anyone else. And if you wouldn't ask Joe Schmo over here for his autograph, please don't ask Brad Pitt. No, I did not see Brad Pitt. So, um, but I did meet... A lot of different people and y'all they're like everyone else some are complete jerks and some are super sweet and it's not always the ones you would think um so i'm gonna share a little bit with you um i'm gonna tell you a couple the one that was probably the biggest jerk to me and it really wasn't that bad looking back but i thought it was at the time because i hadn't been in la a week um and <laughs> my accent was so thick y'all okay my roommate yoni if you're listening i love you but when I moved in, I didn't know anybody when I moved to LA. And my roommate, Yon Yoni, or we called each other by our last names, Yoni and Coin and I were roommates. And she and I, <laughs> it was my first day there. And I was like, we were chatting, you know, and I was like, okay, well, I'm fixing to take a shower and then we can go get something to eat. And she was on the phone with her dad, Goose, and said, and I was shutting the door and she was like, I don't know, dad. Uh, I don't know, Goose. That's my new roommate, Tracy from Arkansas. She's always fixing something. And I was like, what? And so we went to eat dinner at this little Italian joint in Santa Monica. And she was like, we were talking. And she, I'm like, fixing that, you know, fixing to like about to. And she's like, look, Roberts, you start at UCLA tomorrow. And I'm like, yeah. And she said, you're going to have to stop with the fixing to. It's, it needs to be about to and the tan when began. It's ten when and began. And this is not a pen. It's a pen. And I was like, I was giving some time. So um I did come around eventually, but my accent was even thicker. It was thick as pig crap. And um so they used to call me Ellie May. Ha 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 really funny so i go what's even funnier is the first week i'm there right i go I, I got a job working besides ucla i was working as a set nurse on the side and which was like easy money it was like stealing money um really easy money i mean you gave out sunscreen and band-aids and i occasionally like we had a dog bite and I had to send someone for a tetanus shot i mean it was generally not much um and you got paid for basically doing that watching people shoot movies um, and the reason I got it was they were doing, oh, what was the name of that show? There was a TV show. It was real popular. Can't think of the name of it. Where they would um, do stories on people that had horrible accidents and they would recreate it and they would you know, do the whole thing. Anyway, it was actually a friend of mine from high school and they were here doing a story on it. God, I can't remember the name of that show. It was awful to me. But they came to shoot here in Little Rock where I was working at the time in the ER. And I got to know the crew and they were super, super nice. And they, I told them I was moving to LA and they said, oh, sweet, call this friend of ours. You can go work on sets. It's like 
steal money. And I'm like, okay. So on the first day on the set, um, it's an outdoor set. And I was working on the movie, The Dentist. And it's total B, horror, B movie, horror movie, stupid. And, um, but I was just hanging out, no big deal. And this actor was like, excuse me, he came over and I was sitting somewhere, I guess I was in the way. And he goes, um, and who are you? And I was like, Tracy, I'm the set nurse, nurse, set nurse, who are you? And he, <laughs> yeah, he, I didn't know who he was. I didn't watch LA Law, y'all. I didn't know who Corbin Burton was. Sorry, Corbin, just outed you. Um, and, and he was really offended that I didn't know who he was. Sorry, y'all, they have big egos. They have to, they have to have big egos for what they do. Um, but the director thought it was so damn funny. He took me to dinner that night and we laughed all night about it. But he was, he's like, how long have you been here? And I said, a week. And he was like, how did you get this gig? A week in LA. And I'm like, I don't know. How'd you get this gig? How long have you been here? Anyway, it's not go over well. Um, but my, the sweetest person that, um, I ever met in LA was, Henry Winkler. I met him on an elevator one day in LA and I had, he was visiting somebody. I had a chocolate donut and a bran muffin and I was in the elevator. You know, I'm in my twenties and he was, I wasn't going to say anything. I just said hi. And he was like, wow, that's an interesting combination. Sweetest man. Oh my God, y'all. And I said, well, the bran muffin is to chase the donut out, you know? And he was like, that's a very interesting concept. And I was like, yeah, yeah. And the elevator opened and I said, I know I'm not supposed to say anything, but I just have to tell you 20 years ago tomorrow, I would have been the coolest kid in second grade. I mean, y'all, I just met the Fonz, right? So he was really nice and he was like, give away your age. And I'm like, I don't care, I'm 27, I don't care. So anyway, that was the sweetest man I ever met. Um, also, I'm gonna say I have to have to shout out Jamie Lee Curtis. That God, that woman's a sweetheart. Um, sweet, sweet, sweet. Anyway, when I was in New York, here's where I'm trying to get to. Sorry, y'all. I just went all the way around there. Um, when I was living in New York, I was working in liver transplant at, at the time, and I was at the Marriott Marquis with Dr. Brown. And oh my God, was it a snooze fest conference I was at, a liver transplant conference. And I mean, God, it was boring. Um, there weren't our Bluetooth headsets with like, you know, we could watch a video. That was not happening back then. So I was just dying. And, um, but we did have phones. And my friends were outside, I found out, they call me. They were at, outside the Marriott Marquis, there was a, a SAG strike, a Screen Actors Guild the actor strike. And some of my, you know, a lot of my friends were in the arts. In fact, I was one of only like two medical people. We were really the kind of boring ones. And they were like, well, Roberts, come out here and you know, have strike with us. And I'm like, hell yeah, that sounds a lot more fun than doing this. So I go out and my friends are like standing there, can y'all? Cause they're with uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman and all these people. And I was like, dude, this is crazy. And I look over out of the corner of my eye and I was like, oh my God, oh my God. And I was like, you know what? I don't care. Breaking, I'm breaking all the rules. If, if there's one person, one actor I ever want to meet in my life, and you won't guess him, he was standing there, like, I don't know, 20 feet from me. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God, I, I have to meet this man. I've had, I, I can't stand it. So I, I broke my rule and I walked over to him and he was talking to um, Susan Sarandon and Tim, whatever her, hus her husband at the time, tall guy. And um, <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, excuse me, Susan, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, pardon me, I'm so sorry, I'm your own conversation. Richard. And I was like, Oh my God, I cannot believe it. I'm meeting Richard. I'm dying. And so you're still not going to guess. I was like, Oh my God. And I looked at him and I said, I never do this, but I have been in love with you since I was 11 and you were in the goodbye girl with Marsha Mason. Neil Simon's the goodbye girl. Still one of my absolute favorite movies of all time. If you haven't seen it, go rent it. 
um, and it was Richard Dreyfus, and I was like starstruck, like totally starstruck. Not Richard Gere, Richard Dreyfus. You know, Jaws, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, Mr. Holland's Opus that we just watched. Um, it was <laughs> it was the craziest thing I've ever done. He was the most gracious, kind man. And I said, I have been in love with you since I was 11 years old. And he get, kissed me on the forehead and said the sweetest things. And I won't repeat it, but it was just sweet, like fatherly sweet. And, um, and then I apologized for interrupting the conversation. Oh, I'm not keeping this nearly as short as I thought I would. Um, but I'm sitting here gushing over Richard Dreyfus because I love him. I just love him. So, um, Anyway, we just watched Mr. Holland's Opus, and I was telling Ava the story, and thought I'd share it with you guys. Uh, so it'd be interesting. I would love to hear who you may have a fantastic crush on, or somebody you would love to meet someday. If you could meet anybody, and don't don't do the usual. Don't do the Angelina Jolie, Brad Pitt, Jennifer Aniston. I mean, who really, really like do you admire and are and think so much of you would, ah, oh, you would run across a Screen Actors Guild strike and interrupt Susan Sarandon and speak to. I'm just curious. So, mine was Richard, Richard Dreyfuss, and every time I see him, I think, oh, sweet guy. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Cat, Mr. Mr. Holland's up, this is great, but catch the goodbye girl. So, I cry every time at the end. Um, Anyway, and I love the theme song by Bread. I mean, you can't beat that. Um, anyway, let me know if you guys have somebody really interesting uh, that you would love to meet uh, or that you have already met. Maybe someone you've already met. Anyway, I hope you have a great night. Bye.